Sometimes you need to perform a cleanup action irrespective of whether an operation succeeds. In a later module, we'll introduce context managers, which are the modern solution to this common situation. But here we'll introduce the try finally construct, since creating a context manager can be overkill in simple cases. And in any case, an understanding of try finally is useful for making your own context managers. Consider this function, which uses various facilities of the standard library's OS module to change the current working directory, create a new directory at that location, and then restore to the original working directory. At first sight, this seems reasonable, but should the call to OS makedir fail for some reason, the current working directory of the Python process won't be restored to its original value, and the makeat function will have had an unintended side effect. To fix this, we'd like the function to restore the original current working directory under all circumstances. We can achieve this with a try finally block. Code in the finally block is executed whether execution leaves the try block normally by reaching the end of the block, or exceptionally by an exception being raised. This construct can be combined with accept blocks, here used to add a simple failure logging facility. Now, if the OS makedir call raises an OS error, the OS handler will be run and the exception will be re-raised. But since the finally block is always run, no matter how the try block ends, we can be sure that the final directory change will take place in all circumstances.